This is problem number five from section 1.2. And this problem it says evaluate each of the following expressions using the given table of values. And they give you like f of g of zero, so on and so forth. I really like these problems because I kind of like using the tables. They're usually pretty quick and easy to, to work with. So let's go ahead and say part a. And we're gonna say f of g of zero. And I'm gonna write it out just like I would do any other problem. The only difference is I go to the chart to find my answers. So if I take zero and I plug it into the g function, so zero is x, remember, I go to the x value of zero, I look at what the output for g is, and that's two. So I have f of two, now written there, because I replaced g of zero with the output which I got, which was two. Now I go to two for the x value, which is here, and I go to the f function, which says the output for f of two is two. So I end up with two for a solution. Not so bad. Go to the b function, or part b, I mean, and we have g of f of one. So I go to one for an x value. I look at the f function, that's negative one, which is the output, so I end up with g of negative one. So now I go to negative one, and I see the g function's output is 3. So I end up with 3 for a solution. Now I go to part c, f of f of 0. So I go to the 0 input for x, look at what the f value is, which is 1. So I end up with f of 1 now. I go to the 1 value for x, Look at the F output, and that's negative 1. And finally, I go to part D and G of G of 3. I go to the, three, uh, the X value of 3, and I see that the G function outputs a 1. So I end up with G of 1. And then I go to 1 for the X value, I see that the g function outputs a 1 as well at that spot. So that's my solution. That's how we go through using a table to do composition of functions.